Hi. Today is June the 12th, 2021, and this is your Saturday morning preview of your Sunday sermon. I'm sitting here in my kitchen beside a column of chocolate because my granddaughter Olivia loves chocolate. Her mom and dad would like to teach her to not only eat chocolate. <laughs> they are getting to that age where Olivia knows the rules, but she also knows she could choose to not obey them. And then she may have to deal with consequences, um, but she realizes that there are other ways. I've always thought that was a very challenging part of parenting when you get to that point where the child knows your commands, your ways, and generally they, they know they probably ought to follow them, but they're not like the little child who's just speaking who only wants to please their parent. Now suddenly they're a child who is growing into all the wide and wonderful choices of the world like chocolate and they get stealthy. They figure out new ways to get what they want while pretending to do what the parents would have them to do. And I thought about this in the summer sermon series that we're talking about with John speaking to the church or speaking to you and me about you and me. The church was still young, but it had become accustomed to be in the church. You know, the, the commands, the rules, the ways. And there's a lot of other religious opportunities um, ideas, ideologies uh, in the world around them that could tempt them away from the true way of Jesus. And, and of course, in our own hearts and minds, we, no matter what age or what day, there are many ways and means that tempt us away from the true way of Christ, that tempt us out of the light into the darkness. One day, my sister uh, was with her son, who was about Olivia's age now, years ago, and he also loved chocolate. He loved Hershey bars, and they had a whole bunch of Hershey bars, and he would go, and if she wasn't watching, he would sneak those Hershey bars and eat chocolate when he wasn't supposed to. And so she had made a rule that he was never to get that chocolate, you know, unless it was allowed at a certain time of day and um, there would be consequences otherwise. Well, one day, nobody could find her son. They looked everywhere. They called for him. They were just about to, to panic. And they got really quiet and they heard some rustling in a closet. My sister opened the closet door, moved aside the clothing, looked down on the floor, and there was her little son with a Hershey bar open in his lap. He held up the open candy bar and said, I opened this for you. <laughs> well, what do you do with that? How do you help your child know that he's loved and forgiven and still you expect more? Well, that's what we're gonna be talking about in Sunday Sermon. We're the church. God expects more of us. The rest of the story is that child grew up to be a fine, loving Christian man. And as far as I know, he does not steal and hide out and eat chocolate. See you tomorrow. Have a great day.